you have a beautiful imagination. It's going to get you into trouble one day. Cobweb is a 2023 horror thriller directed by Samuel Bodine in his directorial debut with a screenplay by Chris Thomas Devlin. It stars Lizzie Kaplan, Woody Norman, Cleopatra Coleman, and Antony Starr. Horror strikes when an eight-year-old boy named Peter tries to investigate the mysterious knocking noises that are coming from inside the walls of his house, a dark secret that his sinister parents kept from him. So it's been a few days since I watched this. I was on a trip out of town when I got the screener, which I gotta give a huge thank you to Samuel Bodine, the director of this film, and Lionsgate for graciously sending me a screener. I wanted to go to a theater and see this movie, but unfortunately, it just wasn't playing anywhere near me at all. Like, not even close. And so I reached out to him just by chance that maybe he would respond on Instagram, and it surprised me by actually responding and helping me get in touch with Lionsgate and getting a screener. So huge thank you to them because I really appreciate that a lot. But with that being said, I'm going to be super honest with this movie. So like I said, it's been a few days since I've seen this. And usually when I see a movie, it kind of turns to gray mush in my brain. And I only remember certain bits and pieces of it after some time has gone by, just because I watched so many movies. But yet this one is still very vividly in my mind. I can't help but continue to experience and think about this film because it's so poetic and creepy. And there's this like elegance to it because in a lot of ways, this feels like a nursery rhyme. Like it has this real Victorian era elegant nature about it, but it's creepy and uncomfortable. I just love the mood and vibe and energy that this movie gives off. I think it's a perfect movie for the Halloween season. And honestly, as much as I appreciate Lionsgate sending me the screener, I gotta say guys, you're screwing this movie over by releasing it in the middle of the summer with no publicity on probably the biggest box office weekend we'll have this entire year. I mean, Barbie and Oppenheimer just raked in the money like crazy and nobody went to this. On top of that, it had a, such a limited release. Like I said, I live in the capital of California. It's not like I live in a little tiny town. And it wasn't playing anywhere. I'm talking nowhere. I would have had to basically drive to Southern California to see this. And it's really a shame. So I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that this gets a really solid pickup by one of the streaming services, Shudder or Netflix, and they push it come this Halloween season because I think this movie is perfect for that time of year and could really get some legs. I just have this feeling that this is gonna become a cult classic, kind of like what we've seen with Trick or Treat. That movie is huge now for the Halloween season, and yet when it came out, you, nobody talked about it. It got really not the greatest of reviews, and it looked like it was just gonna disappear. But then as time went by, in that case, it got buzzed because it was on VHS and at video rental stores, and just little by little, it blew up. I'm just really hoping that this gets something like that too because it's such a wonderful movie. I love every one of the performances in this. They just do a great job. Everybody from the kid to the mom, it has this vibe about it that reminded me in a lot of ways of Coraline in a way, but much more dark. It doesn't hold back. This definitely has gritty horror elements. It's gruesome and uncomfortable. Very, very disturbing, but it has this fun quality about it. It just feels like someone would tell you this really creepy story at Halloween time. Just the vibe, the leaves, everything about it just feels like that time of year. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't a Halloween specific movie. It just happens to take place during Halloween, but it's the way this film looks. It feels cold. It feels dark and creepy, but without being mean, if that makes sense, and it just makes it for a really fun watch. You can just feel the care and attention to detail that are put into this as well. It feels like a passion project, which is why I really hope that this movie gets some love. 
So if you're in the mood for a creepy, moody, atmospheric evening of horror, I think this is a fantastic movie to check out. So definitely get out to a theater if it's playing near you and see it. If not, I'm sure it'll be on VOD before too long. Hopefully eventually it'll end up on Shudder or Netflix or something like that, like I said, and really get some love. No matter what though, I think it's one you should definitely add to your list and keep an eye out for because when it is released, I think it's a perfect one to throw on during Halloween season. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this and I post videos like this every single week, I also want to give a huge massive enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew to you guys over on patreon and to the channel member over here you guys mean absolutely everything to me and if you would like to find out how you can help support this channel over on patreon there's a link down in the description or if you want to become a channel member and get the little eye icon there's a little button right down there that says join but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun if you enjoyed this click right here to watch my talk to me review and i'll see you guys next time